The water pump on the W211 models with a six-cylinder engine is mounted to the front of the engine as indicated by the red arrow. To access this, begin by removing the engine covers. Working at the engine cover, red arrow, pull off the two front air duct hoses, green arrows. To detach the ducts, pull them straight off the engine cover air filter housing. Then pull the front of the duct out of the radiator support and remove it from the engine. Repeat this step for each duct. Lift up and remove the front engine cover. Then pull the engine cover air filter housing straight up to remove it. Four metal clips that grab onto rubber mounts hold on the cover. The front two are shown, red arrows. The rear cover has two as well. Once detached, remove the engine cover air filter housing from the engine. Before removing the engine drive belt, loosen the four 10mm water pump pulley fasteners, red arrows, but do not remove them yet. Locate the accessory drive belt tensioner, red arrow, on the left side of the engine. Using a ratchet with a long handle and a 17mm socket, rotate the drive belt tensioner counterclockwise to release tension and slide the belt off the pulleys, red arrow. If you're going to reuse the belt, make sure to mark the direction of rotation before removal. Please see our tech article and video on engine drive belt replacing for further information by following the link at the end of this video. If the pulley was spinning and you couldn't break the bolts free, hold the pulley still using a flathead screwdriver. Then loosen the four 10mm water pump pulley fasteners, red arrow. Locate the accessory dry belt tensioner and remove the dust cap, green arrow, using a flathead screwdriver. Then remove the water pump pulley. If the pulley is stuck, gently lever it off using a flathead screwdriver. If you have to lever it off, be sure it's not bent when reinstalling. Replace if necessary. Using a T50 torque socket, remove the idler pulley fastener, red arrow. Slide the idler pulley out of the water pump with the bolt. Working at the bottom of the water pump, loosen both hose clamps, then remove the coolant hose, red arrow, from the water pump. Working at the top of the alternator, remove the E14 bolt as indicated by the red arrow. Remove the two E10 solenoid bracket fasteners, red arrow, then move the bracket aside and remove the E12 water pump fastener behind it. Then remove the E12 fastener closest to the alternator, red arrow. There are 13 remaining water pump fasteners, 10 of which are E10 and 3 are E12. Remove them all using this gasket as a guide. Note the position of each fastener as they are almost all varying sizes and lengths. Remove the water pump from the engine by pulling it straight off. If you have not drained the coolant already, be prepared for coolant to spill out and catch it and dispose of it in accordance with the regulation in your area. If the water pump won't budge, you have a fastener remaining. Do not lever on the pump. They always fall right off when the fasteners are removed due to the metal gasket. Once off, remove the gasket, green arrow, and clean the sealing surface. Install the new gasket to the pump. Slide two E12 bolts, green arrows, through the water pump to hold the gasket, red arrow, in place. Install the pump to the engine, guiding the fasteners into the housing. Be sure the gasket doesn't slip. Hand tighten the fasteners in a crisscross pattern slowly. Tighten one a few turns, then the next, and so on. Install the water pump pulley and tighten the fasteners. Install the engine drive belt and fill and bleed the cooling system. Once complete, check the cooling system for leaks and top up the coolant. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.